In agriculture, it is important to kill weeds in your field so that you can maximize your crop's potential and yield potential. And also, while you're doing this, you also need to keep track of records that you're doing to the field, such as what you're spraying, when you're spraying, and like that. So, to keep track of these records, first, you need to set up the field for the GPS system whenever in the spray group when you spray. So we're going to go to the display screen which is usually located in the cab on the spray group and it's a computer screen and we're going to go to the menu and we're going to go under the settings where we can set the client which would be the landlord or the farmer himself if he owns the field and we're going to set up the field by selecting what field we're going to be in so we know exactly which one it is and then we're also going to go under the product settings and we're going to enter in the product we're spraying which for this field we're going to be spraying atrazine which is a dry chemical that we mix into the tank and also 2,4-D which is a liquid chemical these are for pre-emergence spraying applications before you plant so once we've entered all this into the GPS system Next, we're going to go to the, the nurse truck, which is what carries our liquid and all our chemicals, and we're going to connect it, the hose on it, to our valve right here. And once we've done that, we're going to open up both valves so that we can begin filling. And according to farmer Jeff Smith, you want to first put about 100 gallons of water into the tank of the spray cube so that you can then put your product in and mix it well. So we're going to fill 100 gallons up and then we're going to shut the pump off from the nurse truck and we're going to shut one valve so we don't have any going back. Next we're going to figure out how much we need as far as after zoom 24D for that field. Now according to farmer Jason Slinker we're going to need eight fluid ounces per acre and one pound of the dry atrazine per acre, the eight fluid ounces is the 2,4-D. And this is based off of a calculation that we're going to apply 10 gallons of total product per acre. So, and with our tank on the spray coop holding 400 gallons, if we're applying 10 gallons per acre, that means we're going to get 40 acres out of this fill. So that's how we're going to figure out how much of our product we need, which is going to equal out to be two and a half gallons of 2,4-D, which is going to be a whole jug because the jug's two and a half gallons. And each bag of atrazine is 25 pounds. And if we're applying one pound per acre, we need 40 pounds. So we're going to apply a whole bag and part of another, which you can kind of guesstimate just by holding doing with your own hands but once we've done that we're going we're to go up to the top of the tank and we're going to pour our ingredients in while we have the agitator running so that it mixes the chemicals well so we have a good solution now one thing to remember that also on the 24d's on the label website says is we need to make sure we're always wearing protective gloves whenever we're putting these chemicals in because some can be harmful to you. So once we've put our chemicals in, we're going to shut the lid and now we're going to go back here, we're going to open our valve and we're going to turn the pump on the nurse truck on and we're going to fill the tank up 400 gallons till it's full. And once we've done that, we have it ready to spray so we're going to go and take our hose off and we're going to pull into the field and from here we're now going to go to our auto steer options which is what controls the vehicle going through the field so that we don't have as much overlap with also with our swath control which can shut off sections of the booms so we do not overlap and waste money so once we're in the field we're ready to set up our auto steer according to Gerald Chaplin a technical specialist for John Deere we're going to clear all our previous adaptive curve settings which is the adaptive curve is what tracks and steers us around the end rows of the field 
So we're going to clear that from the previous year's data. And we're also, according to Jason Slinker, who's a farmer, we're going to clear the swath control so that we have a clean field that doesn't show anything being sprayed, so we make sure we spray everything. Once we've done that, now we're ready to go through the field, but first we need to turn on our adaptive curve recording for the first path. So we're going to press our recording button on the display, and now we're going to press our swath control foot pedal, which is, usually, is located on the floor by your feet. And now start driving through the field and we're going to drive the first lap on our own. And once we get to the end of the first lap, we're going to press the recording button to shut it off. And now we're ready to go for our second lap. From here, we're going to turn the steering wheel on, which is going to let the GPS take control of the vehicle going through the field. And so we get ready for our Path, our next pass and we're going to start driving. Press the auto steer button which is going to kick the steering on and off we go doing our second lap and we're ready to go. Now once you've done two in row laps then you're ready to do, set up your AB or straight line tracks. This is going to be what you finish the field with going just back and forth which you usually have set up a previous AB line from previous springs. So we're going to go to our auto steer settings and switch it over to AB lines. And from here, we're just going to have to turn our, our wheel back on and just start going through the field, press our auto steer button, let it take over control. And we're just going to go back and forth through the field spraying until we're done. So really, it's not too hard for farmers nowadays to keep track of all the records that go into what they spray on the field, how much and whatnot, because of this technology and the GPS system and also with the auto steer and everything it is now easier for them to go through the field spraying and not have as much overlap which means they're wasting less money and wasting less time.